at the moment you can hear the radio as we start oh, that's, oh there we go <laughs> as you can see that is interfering with the radio so I'm gonna to have to do some um, EMI suppression on this tech is working kind of I'll say because I ever just had to give this a little run up yesterday and it seems to be out and then you get that which and that you see it's all over the place here and I think that is also due to the EMI suppression let's see I mean that is definitely not that, that is probably about right 1336 maybe a little bit of spray off this chucks off sprayed it with oil right you see that keeps happening it's a bit jumpy and I'm sure that's um the uh, inverter is giving out some EMI and interfering with this. I might be able to get round it with putting some aluminium tape inside this box, that might be one thing. Um, but yeah, you can see. And then switch that. Now going in reverse. Oh. <laughs> Here the radio come back on again. <laughs> Start. It's obviously in that middle position, which is off. Doesn't do anything because I've had to reprogram the inverter. Um, so we go back. It's a bit rumbly and I think it is this belt can't get the tension quite right on there I've got no a lot on this at the moment by the way on this rear but it's bouncing a lot and I think um, I'm at the end of the tension so I think I'm gonna have to have a bigger pulley at that end uh, also, we need to tie this down. I've only got a couple of um, clips on the cable down. But yeah, it's really working okay. Apart from the um, noise of the EMI. And also, a bigger pulley will give me a higher top end. I think that's probably right, actually, the 1 6 that one one six four four that's probably that's on maximum that's probably about right so i really want that a little bit higher so obviously i can go i can go as slow as i want well let's just stop there it says oh there we go zero Oh yeah, see back. Oh, I see the thirty or seventy-six. <laughs> Let me lose it. But yeah. Well, lucky you. Is this Friday's Euro Millions European Millionaire Maker? One hundred millionaires guaranteed. Yep, that's one hundred million. Yeah, and I've just got to tidy up these. I need to um, I need to clip that back. And also, these need to be fixed back. But apart from that, um, all looking good. Okay, and first of the uh, bits has turned up. I've got this little choke. Uh, kind of ferrite choke to I'm going to put that on the feed
cable which goes out to the motor and see if that helps um, with any of the EMI that just clips around the cable like that so we'll give that a try later and uh, also actually found some aluminium tape so we'll try that in the uh, box so I'll try these one at a time and see if that actually makes any any difference and also had the pulley turned up and uh, I'm really quite impressed with that that's extremely good quality um, even looks like it's been balanced there it's a lovely finish that's the size there SPZ 75-01 the one just means it's a single groove and the 1101 is the taper fitment and that wasn't very expensive at all actually five pound just over five pound two pence and that was from this company um as you found it on ebay there's their address there no affiliation or anything with them, but um, yeah, I'm actually really, really pleased with that. So we'll give that a fit on and uh, a slightly bigger than the one I've got on there at the moment, so we should better get a bit more tension. So I'll try this later and see how that runs. Yeah, that's very nice, that is. Show how well this is going to come out, but um, got the new pulley fitted. It's slightly bigger than the other one, um, and I've just lined the inside of this box with some aluminium foil, and uh, also that part. So I'll get that back together. Not sure if this will work or not. Although um, it's the kind of thing you do if you building a guitar and want to uh, sort of shield the pickups a little bit so uh, may or may not work we don't know but we'll give it a try okay so we're ready to give this a try all powered up Well, I'm a little bit surprised by that. That's actually worked. That's got rid of all that interference. You can actually see the true speed now. Rather than that jumping all over the place. What we got? Maximum 1092. So slightly faster with that pulley, but not much difference. Yeah, nice keepness. Well, I'm really surprised that's had that much effect. Uh, and the next thing to try is to see whether that uh, see whether this choke on the power feed. So the motor will affect the radio um, or affect the, the signal that's cutting the radio out so uh, which is DAB radio which is half the problem I think so I'll switch this off um, I'll power down the unit before I go near that because I still haven't got those cables restrained and I've got to put the cover on there as well uh, if I can lift this up, you'll see. Still got to get the cover on there. Right, so I'll power that off. Wait for that to uh, go down and um, fit that choke. Right, there we go. Power down. They should fit this 
cable here should just click around. It's a good fit. Right, thank you. Power that back up, power that back up. Get this camera out of the way. Which is Planet Rock, by the way. And uh, let's give it a go. No, that is still cutting that out. Yeah, that's not having any effect on the radio. So next thing will be to fit the uh, EMI unit to the in, the cable in, the feed in, the mains in. That'll be the next thing to try. Yeah, which I'm uh, I'm waiting for to come in the post. So hopefully I'll be here tomorrow and um, give that a go. Of meatloaf who so sadly passed away so the emi filter has turned up just now in the post um, so we can get that uh, get that fitted well, it's got the line side there load side there and uh, there's single earthing point and obviously you've got exposed terminals on here so I've got this box to fit it in a little bit overkill it's a outdoor power box uh, IP55 rated uh, with a seal lid and everything which goes on like that and uh, obviously drill those out for um, these grommets, grands, very look cool. The cables, um, yeah, so that should can fit that in there, probably somewhere down the bottom. You can bring the cables in either in the side or down the bottom, out through the top to uh, where the VFD is going to be. Might even be able to run the the motor cable through, so I will be able to get a land on that and um, restrain it as well, which might solve the restraint problem with the cables. Yeah, so gonna go out in the back in the shed and uh, fit that in place. Got the box fit there, just got to put the lid on it. Cables tidied up a bit. Um, this one here, which is the cable that goes to the motor, it really just goes straight through there. Um, I'm just using this as a cable restraint. I've got the little, although I don't think that's doing a lot, <laughs> little ferrite choke in there. And uh, that's the EMI unit wired in, live top that side, top that side, neutral, neutral earth connection is around the back there, you can't really see that. Um, but yeah, so I've got my feed in, so that's restrained now, feed out, and that's restrained that end. Uh, might also just put a clip or something on there and yeah so that's a little EMI unit that's a 20 amp one probably could have done could have done a 10 I guess I don't know uh, uh, yeah line side load side um, 
Yeah, so I'll get the lid on that. And I'll turn the radio on and uh, we'll see if it actually does anything. I have done a continuity check from Earth to the lathe, so that's all okay. Just go switching on and trying it now. Right, here we go. As you can hear, the radio is on. Turn taco on. Turn the inverter on. There you go. That's in forward. I'll give it a go. Well, that seems to be working fine. Actually working, so that's solved that little problem there. Yeah, fantastic. Cured that. All working as it should now. Wonderful. Keep listening to find out.